Hello friends, welcome to 20 fingers 2 brains. In this video, we are going to show how to dynamically create a data table and bind it to grid view. So let's open Visual Studio. In Visual Studio, we have a solution grid view examples. In grid view examples, we have grid view example 1 and grid view example 2. In grid view example 1, inside the page load method, we have bind grid view data function. This function will dynamically create a data table and bind it to, to a grid view. Let's open the designer view. In the designer view, we have a drag drop a grid view and named it as JV student details. Inside the method bind grid view data, we have created a data table object DT. In this DT, we have col columns dot add method. Inside the add method, we can define the name of the column and the data type of the column. So here we have created four columns: student ID, student name, education, and state. To add data to the columns, we need to create a data row object. We have created dt row equal to dt dot new row and inside the data row object we have set the values for all the four columns and finally we are adding the dt row object into the data columns. So in this way we are adding one, two, three and four records and finally we are binding the data table to the grid view. So the same thing can also be done in a different way. So we inside the grid view example 2 we have bind grid view method and here also we have created a data table object and here instead of creating columns separately we are using add range. In the add range we are defining first the range of the data columns. If we want four columns we would have to declare 4 if we want 3 columns we want 3 and uh, here we are creating a new data column every time separated by comma and inside the data column we are defining the name of the column and the data type the name of the column and the data type so here we have id username and country and finally we are ad adding the rows to the data data table using the dt.rows.add and as per the range we have three columns so we are setting three values one two and three so let's put a breakpoint over here set a startup page press F11 so after the add range we can see that we are having three columns ID username and country so all the records are getting added and finally the data table is having four records which we have added from the code behind So as you can see all the records which are we created dynamically in the data table are visible to the grid view. So in this tutorial we learned how to dynamically create a data table through two different ways and bind it to a grid view in ASP.NET. For more videos you can visit youtube.com slash 20fingers2brains. Also you can visit our blog 20fingers2brains.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching.